Now it's time to set the parameters for casting. We are now going to use the manual program since we are just casting once. So you press the manual program and here we are going to set the environment for casting. In your casting, you want to avoid defects. And if you allow here to remain in the chamber, then you would have some defects, defects like voids and porosity that would make the material fail in future. So you want to eliminate that as much as possible. So to do that, we are going to prepare the environment by setting the right parameters. So you see the vacuum level bar is where you put in your parameters that allow you to pump down the vacuum and you have a vacuum chamber. And after that, you need to tell the machine how many cycles you want to go. Because after it pumped down the vacuum, it will have to restore with argon gas. Remember, argon is an inert gas and wouldn't react with your metal. So, and that's the reason why you fill in with argon. But you want to repeat the cycle like two or three times to be sure that you don't have oxygen in the chamber. You don't have nitrogen in the chamber. And all you would have is argon. So now I'm going to set this to minus E raised to the power minus 2. So here you press here and just put in your value, minus 2. And you press the plus or minus sign to put the um, minus sign. Then you press enter. So you, we are pumping down to that level. Then we leave the argon restore value at this particular value, 8.2 exponential 2, exponential 2. Then the number of circles, I think we should keep that at 2, which should be fine for this casting. And when you do that, you press enter. Then you leave the port gas as 1. If you put 0, then you won't be able to fill in with argon. So 1 means on. So now we are done with setting the parameters for the preparation of the chamber. Now we are going to set the next set of parameters. Here, this is where we set the melting temperature, I mean the casting temperature of our charge. We have to know the melting temperature of the metals that we have charged in. For copper, it's about 1050 degrees Celsius. So you want to cast at temperature slightly above that of the melting point so that you have enough fluidity, so that you don't have another type of casting defect. So to do that, we're going to change this to 1,150 degrees Celsius. We should be fine for casting the copper aluminum alloy that we have already uh, charged into the crucible. And you press enter here. And after that, you can leave the pouring speed as that. You don't want to pour too fast so that you, don't, you avoid spill in the chamber. The casting delay time is fine. The applied power tells you how much you want the furnace to really eat up the sample. And I think 60 is a good value. For the cut angle, that tells you when the furnace stops eating, when you are casting. And we are very good with 60. 60 degrees.